one of the big problems with hurricanes in North Carolina is the amount of flooding that we get and all the damage that comes along with that. We got a hurricane coming. We got drones. How can we help? We decided that the first thing to do after a hurricane passes is to start getting our drone teams deployed. We want people to get back on the roads. We want our transportation system to be running smoothly. There was a massive effort. 15 teams were deployed all over North Carolina uh, during and after the hurricane. They set up a command center within Division Aviation. It was a seven to 10 day process. On Monday, when the skies finally cleared, we were hitting the ground running. And that week, we flew over 250 missions with drones. We were able to uh, direct aid into certain areas that needed them uh, rapidly. We were also able to present live video back to the command center. Um, state leaders were able to make calls and look at different areas of flooding. I-40, a major corridor in our state, three miles of it was underwater. We had power outages. Some part of our cities were disconnected because the interstate was shut because of the flooding. We would share that live feed with basically the decision makers in downtown Raleigh and then eventually had to shut the road down. But we were able to plan ahead to say, okay, we need to find another artery through Lenore County because the water's coming. Our general public, through news and media, were able to see all the coverage that the drones were providing during the hurricane relief. They were able to provide real-time feed on the state of their property, their belongings, instantly, versus we've got to wait a few days or hopefully somebody will fly over and capture a glimpse of, of where we live. And they were able to direct teams into certain areas and we were able to gather that data and provide it instantly. The perception of the use of drones has changed dramatically because we're able to use it as a tool and really educate the public. We're also able to use it as a tool to help rescue folks that were stranded, and we're able to use it to help assess our transportation corridors and infrastructure, and ultimately allow folks to get back into those affected communities. We are witnessing a rebirth of aviation through unmanned aviation. I think that it really opened a door for a positive spotlight for the state.